Hello, I'm Tina Jennings. We are kicking off this Monday edition of the Morning Blend on the right foot because we are talking food and not just any food, summer dining done just right. Executive chef at the Hilton El Conquistador Jan Ashi Poets is here with several options. Jan, we have been talking so much before the show even started because I'm so excited about this new style that we're doing for lunch. And it's, it's kind of like a, a bento style. Is that a good way to explain it? That's exactly what it is. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's a bento inspired idea that was, uh, you know, uh, found one, I guess, uh, professional efforts of and collaboration of chefs and I guess demands. We have these days, you know, customers, they are coming for lunch. They want to have a very fast lunch, quick, you know, with no interruptions. And uh, that's why we call this no interruption lunch. And uh, I entertained this concept about a year ago. And finally, with the new menu changes, we're going live. And uh, we can serve this lunch with a limited 50 people in below. Uh, we're still working on an idea to get a little bit more uh, from service perspective to serve about 100 and more. But uh, at this time, uh, you know, it's very convenient. We served, in fact, last week a little bit different menu. So we have a three different options. We can have a seafood, uh, we can have a, a beef tenderloin, as well vegetarian. In this case, we have a pork achotti uh, marinated pork tenderloin with a nice, beautiful uh, avocado and uh, watermelon salad. So we call this sandia salad to keep the you know, southwestern twist. With this on the side, we have a little bit of a corn muffin, jalapeno. So it's a representation of our eclectic southwestern cuisine from outlets. Representing a salad, it's in Sundance. The pork, it's in Epazote. Desserts, you know, are in the new Calibri bar as well. All of this you can find also on the banquet menus. This is, I said, it's, it looks beautiful. I'm sure it tastes amazing. And you're going to kind of show us one of the options that can be in the bento. What are we going to make today? So today we have exact, exactly, like I said, we have this pork tenderloin that okay. has been marinated in, Acho, in adobe uh, uh, marinade. And uh, we uh, uh, marinated for 24 hours and slowly roasted to 145. So one of the things that I need to say that most uh, home cooks are making the mistake of cooking the pork until it's really brown and okay. overcooked. So the rules of 15, 20 years ago when we have to place the pork in the oven and cook to 165 degrees, it's, it's not heard of anymore. I've heard that recently. Yes, that's correct. The pork industry worked very diligently to make safe environment for the animal to grow. And uh, with the efforts of culinary masters in the United States, uh, that we come up you know, this idea that the 145 is the perfect temperature for the okay. pork holds the temperature, moisture, and it's really good. Now, in addition, uh, pork, it's one uh, of the most uh, consuming protein in the United States and in the world. So if you think about it, you know, it's, it's a little bit uh, behind uh, the chicken, but it's very close with the consumption of the chicken. And it's very versatile, too. You can smoke it, we can grill it, you can, you know, uh, saute it, you know, in a different preparation methods. You can use this as appetizer, as an entree and, uh, you know, uh, as hors d'oeuvres as well. Well, walk us through what else we're adding with this wonderful pork that, like you said, is made just at the right temperature. So uh, the pork has been seared, and then, as you can see, uh -huh. it's nicely um, finished in the oven. I did this, you know, about an hour ago. So it's nice and, and medium red to medium. We don't want to have a too much pink in it because okay. some people do uh, afraid the pink color. Yes. So we want to stay away from that. And then we just cut in about uh, three to three and a half ounces of pork and just assemble on this plate like, like such right here. Okay. Uh, so four ounces of pork, it's about 150, 160 calories. And depends on the sauce, sauce will add more calories. Okay. So and is the sauce, is that the blueberry? The blueberry sauce had a little bit more calories, but it's nice and sweet and tart. We don't put too much sugar, so you have to be very careful, you know, on the uh, um, recipe procedure. Okay. And you can substitute that, you know, with many variety of your choice. You can even put raspberry uh, sauce. You can put, you know, light uh, apple cinnamon glaze. Right. You know, things that goes well with pork. And uh, in order to give a little bit of height, we fried a little bit of uh, fried uh, sweet potatoes. Oh, it gives yeah. you a little bit crunch, and uh, it's really delicious. Now, the salad, like I mentioned, it's the avocado and watermelon salad uh, with the uh, Helion tomatoes. We made a homemade agave uh, vinaigrette, which is just a little bit over it's for the nice twist right before the service, and it's really nice and, and delicious. The salad is about 160 calories. 
I have here alternative to our uh, either Nuban goat cheese tartlet that is uh, glazed with a little bit of honey and a squeeze of uh, lime. And uh, here I'm going to just show you that we created nice tomato basil bisque. Oh. Yes, it's a very, very quick soup that it's basically uh, mirapois, which is celery, carrots, and onion with uh, Roma tomatoes. They have been roasted and braised uh, in a pot for about uh, 30 minutes and finished with a vegetable stock and fresh basil for a nice flavor. And we serve this in special four ounce thick ramekins so they uh, you know, retain the heat. So when we place this on a dish like this, it stays nice and hot for half an hour, Nate, believe stays. it or not. And you guys have a new salsa and herb garden also over there. Yes, Is that do. also helping in a lot of these fresh dishes? Oh, absolutely. Actually, in fact, we have a, one of the chefs, we call them uh, uh, herb scientists. And his responsibility is to, yeah, Joshua Willett, his responsibility is to experiment with the different flavorings, herbs, marinades, mixtures. He smoked them and making ashes for, you know, for the dishes in the pasote. It's, it's something that, you know, the team is very excited and, and inspired. So one learned from the other, including myself. Yeah. You know, I, I sent the guys to the training and uh, we benefit all together, you know, from the fact that they're all hungry, and, and uh, it's a small world these days, so we yeah. can share the information <laughs> within a second. Oh, yeah, and I know, along with all of this new stuff that's coming out, the bento and, and, and the new menu that's coming out, you guys also have a lot of renovations that are going on over at the resort. Absolutely, you know, the renovation, it's a great thing that is happening because that helps, you know, uh, obviously, you know, the guests that come in to see the new product. We have a beautiful new lobby. We just opened, you know, a Calibri Lounge where we serve, you know, uh, small plates and large plates, you know, and, uh, for the guests, you know, that they enjoy the cocktails. We have a beautiful pool that has been totally uh, renovated. And uh, as we speak, the two buildings are out and, and, and one is already back in in order. So we are very proud of the new product. You know, and it's really exciting time for the Hilton La Conquistador. And the team is excited, guests are very happy, and we just, you know, cannot say uh, more about, you know, things that, that's happening at the resort. Well, you know, I know you've been the executive chef for 15 plus years. You're staying cutting edge. You're making sure that your guests are happy, that the food is delicious and nutritious. And I want to thank you so much for introducing us to this. I can't wait to take a bite during the commercial break. It looks beautiful. I almost feel like it's art. It's, it's so nice. But Jan, thank you for stopping in with thank us. You. Thank you for having Absolutely. Me. And to take advantage of the Hilton El Conquistador special that you see on your screen, just mention sneak peek when you make your reservation over the phone. If you reserve online, use the promo code P2, that's P as in Paul 2 at checkout. For more details, call 5445000 or log on to HiltonElConquistador.com.